Hey, what's up, gamers? Captain Slayer here, playing the new Revert DLC for Tony Hawk HD that dropped on December 4th. As you can see, I'm skating around as my little avatar dude and a little Spartan man and doing some of the coolest shit you've ever seen, but let's get down to the good stuff. The Revert DLC is titled such because it was originally meant to offer exactly what it's called, the Revert to people who purchased the content, which, for those of you who aren't familiar with the franchise, is a fucking absolutely necessary trick that you must have to perform any sort of combo if you have the reflexes of a fucking seizure victim like myself. However, the team decided that since the DLC took so freaking long to hit the marketplace, that they would give it to everyone who owned the game, the Revert, for free. Which, in my opinion, is a much less douchebaggy choice than if they made them pay for it to begin with. The pack retails at 400 points, and I don't know how much that is for all of you over in PlayStation Land or Steam World, but it includes four new skaters whose names I'm too afraid to pronounce out of fear of ridicule for being an illiterate fucknut, but I do know that two of them are from that one band that everybody says they like because they used to be good, now they're bad, but nobody really knows what they do. And uh, that reminds me, a new song, All Nightmare Long, was put in the pack too. It's a Pro Skater 3 heavy DLC featuring classic levels such as Los Angeles, Airport, and of course the Great White North, O Canada. The new skaters are nifty and all, but I seem to suck more dick than usual when I played as them since I didn't have any stat upgrades. However, I do love the wavy shit coming off this dude's pants, not to mention this guy's gorgeous mane. I learned a really cool trick with some balls when I played as this guy. All of the levels are pretty much exactly how you remember them, except they're way fucking prettier, and the NPCs aren't running around getting in your way and making you fall and whatnot. The old tricks work fairly well, and stringing combos together is insanely easy now as compared to when this game first came out. Like, I could not even fucking get a manual after a manual in that bullshit. However, I did find some bugs with the new revert system, kind of like this segment when I was on Canada and kept trying to revert and manual at the same time, which actually led to me cheating the clock, but it also kept resetting my combo. Fucking Canada, dude. One good thing about the DLC pack is all three of the new levels are available right away, even with a skater who you haven't done career mode with yet. However, it's kind of hard to hit some of the higher scores like the 400,006 score in LA with a meat and bone skater. To be honest, all in all, the DLC is nothing huge. I mean, you've got a couple of new skaters, three levels you played like a decade ago, and I mean, the nostalgia is out the ass if you played the originals. And But I mean, if you're new, it's nothing to really come to. Not to mention, I spent 15 minutes trying to find an online game and couldn't. Plus, there were no new achievements added with the title. Eh. And the addition of one crappy song doesn't change the fact that after three hours with a game, the soundtrack becomes drier than a fucking mummy's dick. But I mean, you know, being a gamer raised on the Hawkman, I gotta give it props. I loved it then, and I loved it now, but I mean, if you didn't play it in the late 90s, I would just keep your points and move on to something else. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. It's been Captain Slayer with another A plus review. Oh, and click that fucking subscribe button, or else I'm gonna show those pictures of yourself that you meant to take for that one chick in middle school. Yeah, I saw that baby dick. <laughs>